Welcome. Today we will be disassembling an Alienware 17 R4. So we are going to first remove all the screws on the bottom cover and also the two screws here on the back. All right, so looks like we have all the screws removed. This one is retained on the back, so just loosening it does not come out. And then we'll use a straight edge to pop the rest of the bottom cover off. Kind of a pain to get started, but once you have an end up, it'll just pop right off. All right, so we'll start by removing the memory. So just go ahead and spread the little bars, and then pull out the memory stick. All right, next up, just remove the screw for the SSD drive. And just pull up on the end so you can get a grip on it and then pull it out of the connector. Looks like uh, four screws retaining the hard drive caddy, so we'll go ahead and remove those. And we'll pop off the SATA connector as well. And we'll just lift the caddy out, and then there's a screw on each side for, or two screws on each side for the hard drive. All right, now we'll remove the. Um, little back in the cover. So it's got snaps all the way around, uh, but if you free one side, you can usually just finish pulling it off that way. Um, so just undo it from the snaps up here. And just keep working it around. So the seam is right there, and then that's where it separates on the other side. So just finish pulling, and you can separate it from the rest of the chassis. All right, so our next goal is to remove the uh, this big inner bracket here. But first we have to remove these ribbons to be able to clear uh, when we go to remove it. So 
we're going to need to take off both of these corner little circuit boards. And then there's just a little uh, push-in plug. So we'll pull that out. And then we feed it through. And then we'll also remove that little connector on the motherboard. So now we can get that out of the way. And we'll repeat for the other side. Now that we have those out of the way, we can finish removing all of the screws left in the inner bracket here. All right, looks like we got all the screws out, but we'll soon find out. Now we're just going to separate the rest of the bottom cover uh, where it meets the palm rest. Oh, what do we got? The Wi-Fi card is under a cover. Okay, don't forget the Wi-Fi card. pulling on anything but it's definitely pretty well hidden behind that little cover all right so there is the rest of the bottom cover assembly all right now we can remove the battery so we'll go ahead and pull the connector and remove the screws All 
All right, on this model, it looks like the connector for the fans is underneath on the bottom of the laptop. So we're just gonna remove the screws for the fans and then uh, take the motherboard out with the fan and heat sink assembly still uh, screwed into the motherboard. And it looks like the connector for the NL board is also underneath. So we're just gonna kind of take all of this out at once. Make sure to pull up on the pram battery, release that. And while I have the screwdriver in my hand, I'm just gonna finish removing the screws for the motherboard and we'll remove the ribbons. loose it should let the motherboard out all right then we'll pull all these connectors on the front this one you just lift up and release it and push it back down This one just flip up on that little front retainer, remove it. This one you also pull up. This one's apparently on a little pin. And you'll probably want to flip that uh, in out board over and just release that connector for the speaker. But you know what, this one also has um, connectors on the other side of the motherboard. So we'll go ahead and just flip it over. Yeah, there's a couple more on the bottom. And once you peel up that tape, um, it pulls the little bar back. I just want to make sure that it's released before you push it out of the connector. Because it is held on by a little flip down bar. Okay. So this motherboard has a lot of connectors on either side. the fan connectors on the bottom of the motherboard so just make sure you hit those to get them out before you try to pull the fan heat sink assembly off All right, so go ahead and remove those connectors
and the tape. And then we can just flip her over. Finish removing the screws from the heatsink. Now this type is better to kind of support the bottom with your hand. Because sometimes these screws, especially if you have to press down hard into them, um, you can start bending the motherboard. That's not a good idea. So as long as you've grounded yourself or you've touched the ground, it's okay to handle the bottom and like the other parts of the motherboard. So there is the fan heat sink assembly. And then we can go ahead and finish removing the in out board. Just flip up the tape, flip up the bar, pull it free. All right, back to the uh, palm rest and display assembly. We'll go ahead and remove the DC jack. Pretty heavily taped, like a lot of this laptop. And now, if we're going to separate the display, it's always good to just uh, kind of free the cables when you see them, since we are going to end up separating the display from the palm rest. Here we can pull off the power button. All right, so the rest of the stuff is gonna stay on, but you have a few screws for the touchpad and then a bunch of screws for the keyboard backing plate. Now we can separate the display assembly from the palm rest. So remove the six screws holding the hinge to the palm rest assembly. I guess it helps if you just flip it over and you can feed these through so they don't want to pull through on their own very well. All right, now we can start removing the bezel from the display. This model is pretty easy. Just get the uh, inner edge and then just start pulling up and out with your fingers. is also held on by tape. So just 
keep in mind when you're pulling up because you don't want to pull too hard. Plastic is pretty thin. So just gently, steadily, and just wiggling back and forth and you'll be able to pop out the bezel. Which looks like it has an LED, so we're gonna pull out the connector. Yeah, they don't make that one easy. All right. All right, so first we'll go ahead and do the hinges. Since we'll be taking it all the way apart, it'll make it easier to free these cables going through it. Here, for little hinge covers, it's easy just to pop them off with your fingernail. Kind of by where that corner is. Add some more tape over the hinge screw for whatever reason. Now we can go ahead and remove the lower LED board. Eh, maybe just loosen it for now. Just want to get it clear of the LCD display. So we should be able to lift it, flip it over, and disconnect the video cable. All right, so I'll just grab that little piece of plastic, pull it back very carefully, and lift the little retainer bar, and then we can pull the display free of the video cable. Alright, now we can free the rest of the video cable. So 
we'll just get it out from the little grooves. And unstick it all the way up to the webcam. All right, so the webcam, it's always best to pry from underneath or above, never from either end. Just because you don't really want to bend it that hard. So flat edge or a long thumbnail is pretty useful getting the webcam out. Alright, so there's pretty much the bare back cover assembly. You have the uh, lighting and the Wi-Fi antennas and they're right there if uh, you just need to replace those. And then your kind of bottom LED board. Alright, so that is how you disassemble an Alienware 17 R4. If the video helped you out or you found it informative, please uh, like and subscribe. Thank you.